night. When my daughter was about three years old, the minister asked during children's church, what was her favorite Bible story? And Heather proudly answered, the Robins. Well, my husband and I thought about it for a second and we couldn't remember a Bible story about Robins. So I glanced over at her grandmother slash Sunday school teacher who was looking as perplexed as we were. And then I glanced around the church and nobody seemed to know the story of the Robins. At that point, the minister who couldn't figure it out asked Heather to tell the story. And so Heather said, there was a man walking down the road and he was attacked by Robins. Welcome to Sunday School for the Young and the Young at Heart. I bet you you have guessed that the story I was talking about was actually the Good Samaritan. And that's what we're talking about today. So for this lesson we need a piece of paper, a black crayon or marker and a red crayon and marker and one special thing, a band-aid. I'll wait. Remember to just pause it and I'll be here when you get back. As we start the story, there are three words you really should know something about. The priest. The priest was a Jewish priest who worked in the temple and he offered the sacrifices to God to, so that the people could be forgiven of their sins. The Levite, who also is Jewish and worked in the temple, um, and he worked on behalf of the Jewish people. And the Samaritan, the Samaritan had one parent that was Jewish and one parent that was a Gentile. And so the Jewish people didn't recognize them as either one. They just decided they didn't like them. But let's hear what happens to the Samaritan in our story. There once was a man who was walking from Jerusalem to Jericho and he was attacked. He was attacked by robbers. Oh, a little. First, a priest came by. And seeing the man, he went way around and continued up his journey. And then a Levite came by, and he went around, and he continued up. And then the Samaritan came, and the Samaritan went all the way and saw the man, and he took pity on him and cleaned him up and, and bandaged up everything. And then he took them all the way up here to the motel. He got the man a room and then he went to the innkeeper and he said, here are two gold pieces. Please take care of my friend. And if there's if he if need more money when I get back, I will pay you. And so then he went on the trip he needed to go on. While well, the our man got better. Then Jesus said to the 
Samaritan or said to the man, who do you think was being the neighbor? And the man answered, the Samaritan, Jesus said. That's right. And then Jesus said, go and do the same. So we're going to put the band-aid right here on our little man to help us remember to go and do the same. Now, this week, I'm asking you to help a neighbor. You can do it in many different ways. You can put a picture in, um, out in your window or yard for people passing by to see. Or you can actually help a neighbor maybe carry in her groceries or something. Um, or you could send a picture to somebody that you know is still having to stay in because of the virus. Think about ways you can be the good neighbor this week. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for helping us be good neighbors. Guide and direct us this week. Uh, and be with us. Amen. See you next week.